Hey, this is Mike. Yeah, I just wanted to further explain what uh, I was posting about and talk to Eric a little bit about it as well um, and kind of give you a few feels, a little drill that I think will um, definitely help. <coughs> so kind of take a look. The left will be kind of me demonstrating your, your swing. Kind of take a look at the way the left knee is going to be working. So the left knee is going to be working um, it's going to start flexing at too fast a rate. So there's kind of a rate that things work at. Um, obviously, we want everything to be kind of gradual as we do uh, these pieces into the into the backswing and the downswing even. If one if one piece is off, that's where we can start getting uh, stuff with key number one getting off with the head moving around. So for you, you start to flex your left knee at too fast a rate, and the hips kind of open up at too fast a rate. So I'm going to be really adding a lot of knee flex early. So you see what that does. Um, hands are going inward um, too much and you're not really hinging your wrist. Uh, kind of when I'm talking about hinging, I mean like if you're giving somebody a thumbs up. Um, to me, cocking is more kind of like right wrist bending on back on itself. Hinging is kind of up and down motion. So just if I kind of use those terms. Um, I'm going to send you this video just kind of me demonstrating it, just kind of so you can see the differences. So again, everything's kind of going at too fast a rate here. And then the hands get too far inward, okay? We want to tend to see the hands be close to in line with the right shoulder on the backswing. Your hands are behind the, the right shoulder. And then from there, you kind of use your head uh, going down to start to allow the arms and hands and the club to kind of load upward because if you didn't it would it would just be basically your left arm would look like that at the top of the backswing so in order to get things to ascend a bit your head starts to go down um, arms kind of bent obviously this is very exaggerated but um, it's kind of what happens the club gets across the line there so to start to change this um, I'll just kind of go back there Start to change this over here on the right. I have a ball. It's about a foot and a half to two feet behind the ball I'm hitting. And what's going to start to, I guess you could say, force you to do is to start to kind of have hinge your wrist a little bit sooner in order to avoid that ball. So as I'm going to start to do this, you're going to start to see the club is getting up sooner. So kind of two different pictures there. So again, the one on the left, kind of everything's working in too fast, left knees, the pivot's working too, uh, too fast a rate, and the club's not really ascending. So the club works, you know, inward, back, and upward. So another, another thing to point out was um, your right arm was kind of straight. See how this, this right arm here is softer? Um, this is where I was kind of talking about, I'm throwing out a lot of information, but the feel um, they're kind of kind of blend into one, so it's kind of feel, you know, with this drill that, um, and do this slowly. And when I say slowly, I mean like really slow. <laughs> so the club's going to send up. It's going to feel a little bit softer in the right arm to do it. Hands are going to feel like they're going straighter back, and you're also going to feel like the left knee just flexes a little bit on this takeaway. So this is you know uh, a one to two, a one's address, two is club shaft parallel to the ground on the back swing. And kind of see the differences in the knees, right? With your swing, um, you start to see a little bit of space between the kneecaps. You don't want to start to see that space until about three to four on the back swing. So again, everything's just working at too fast a rate. Um, you can see me kind of demonstrating over here on the on the right how there is some pivot, there's some turn, there's some movement in the knees, but for you, it's going to feel um, like there's not very much. And just a little bit, and, and the, the whole movement of the way the knees are working, the hips, is, is gradual. You kind of uh, turn it on soon and then um, kind of get stuck with the way the arms are uh, working too far inward. So, again, I'm going to see in this video kind of me doing this. The hands are kind of working, stra uh, feeling straighter back, and kind of just demonstrating here where, um, you know, the, the hands. 
you're gonna feel like yeah the the, the hands almost stay at the, the same height as you take it back it's still gonna ascend somewhat um, kind of compare this picture to yeah to this one where there's really not in the wrist hinge um, the rates are too fast and kind of everything gets a little kind of stuck behind you okay so again it's gonna feel just a little bit more of the you know like I saw a thumbs up in order to get the the club to uh, miss that ball and then you can do um, I'll just kind of play this. You can definitely do drills here. You can see how slow I'm, I'm working this. You kind of show where this left arm is here. So left arm would be um, a little bit more in front of your chest. You can see if I also draw um, kind of like an arrow, it's still in front of my chest, where again you tend to get it behind, behind you like that. And then you can even make kind of slow uh, swings doing this as well. So I'm just kind of feeling this motion out. Uh, I think I make a couple more little practice takeaways here. And then you get some shots too. So I'll kind of I'll just play that against. So really look at the the pacing, uh, the pacing of this, of this takeaway. So I'm feeling very slow. Kind of just really kind of feeling that club head get up, hands going straight back. So that's kind of how I like to see you practice this motion, really that pacing. It's going to feel like you're moving at 10% speed. But this is kind of how you start to change the picture and really start to change um, the motion here. So again, the, the hands are going to feel, the clubs are going to feel like it, it kind of hinges upward a little bit sooner. And that the, um, the the pivot's a little more gradual. The way the knees are working would be more gradual, not kind of so much knee flex at the beginning. The takeaway might feel like your knees do nothing. Um, and you're just kind of loading the club up with the hands kind of working straighter back. Um, and that's going to be a, a kind of a much different feel with the way the arms and hands are working. Again, they're going to feel like they're kind of staying in front of you for the entire backswing. And, and really kind of do these swings where you're, where you're checking it. You know, where you're making sure that this, you know, that the, you know, the right, again, the checkpoint's about hands kind of in line with the right shoulder. Any more than that, um, it's going to run into trouble. Okay? So I hope this clarifies it. If you have any questions, obviously you can post. Um, yeah, hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, good luck with the practice.